There it is. I would guess probably 10 hours into this thing. It's been outside for a while, obviously. Brought it back to life. Plugs right into the wall. Well, it does now. This bad boy wired it up. Probably spent mm, $50 at the hardware store for all the wiring. Mostly wiring. All the switches here. I got yellow. Off. On. See that? Kind of hard to see with my arms here. In the way. Got green. And red. The most important one. See if I can get some action here. Red light. <laughs> Yellow light. Or orange. Whatever you want to call it. And my favorite. Green light. There we go. I'm unplug this so I don't get electrocuted. Open her up. There's another full shot of this thing. It's pretty big. Probably... Oh, over three feet tall. You can open up the thumb screws. Good. There we go. Kind of opens up like a door. The red one's an LED. The rest of them are incandescents. Some wiring through there. At the top, a little pipe work here. Comes out here. We have all these nice switches right there. Open up the middle section here. This is where all the good stuff is at. Apologize for the crudity of this video. There's the yellow incandescent. I'm going to close this to balance this out a little better. This thing wants to crash on me. <laughs> there we go. This is the orange or yellow incandescent. It's a little hot in there. There we go. We have the neutral on the right side and we have the hot on the left. So those three blue ones in the bottom go all the way to the top into the switches. We have the neutral, the main neutral right there and the other neutrals for the lights. And then on the top we have, they're color coded, we have the uh, hot wires for the lights. Nothing really exciting on the bottom, just a couple wires for Mr. Green. Which is also an incandescent bulb. Pretty simple, really not that bad. I mean, a little OCD, did a lot of soldering and heat shrink wrap. Those are just crimped on there. Make sure everything's safe. This closes right up. Thumb screws. This is surprisingly really light, mostly plastic. Older ones are metal. Close this bad boy back up again. You could do easily do LED upgrades for this entire thing if you want to. Get that taunt. To this for work, we have a conference which is going to be. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme, and they of course volunteered and asked me to join them. This is my contribution to that group. That's close good enough. Put this bad boy back in. Let's see if I can get more action with the lights. Red. Yellow. And green. That was a fun project. I might do a few more of these. We have two more at work. They might want them, They're, or they may or may not want them. I don't know. It would be cool if they give me one. Kind of like looking for the house hanging up somewhere. We also have crosswalk signs. I'd like to do one of those as well. And I guess uh, totally unrelated, but we have a new addition to this little collection here. We have Mr. Lennon. <laughs> it's from the 70s. We also have the Turkmenistan flag. Of course, no house is complete without old glory. We got all these all over the house. Thanks for watching. Sorry for being a little slow. It's 
um, it's probably 11 o'clock. I've been working on this since a little over 6 o'clock, so I'm a little, a little tired. But well, I hope you like it. Maybe you can learn something from it. You can make one of these uh, or set it up, put it in your house. No house is complete without one of these, right? Or put it outside and freak the neighbors out. Leave it on red so nobody leaves. Or keep it green so everyone goes. Bye-bye.